everybody, welcome back to an old, old friend. Oh god, a beautiful game that I miss so much. Democracy 3. But we are no longer playing as the United States of Democracy 3 like I did way back when. We're playing in a new country, the United Kingdom. Because, of course, the United Kingdom has a lot of things going on right now with... Uh, you know, the United Kingdom Independence Party, but the Conservatives, I think, overwhelmingly won with, uh, I think it's Theresa May. And they're trying to get out of the European Union. So, that is in the process of happening, so there's a lot of things going on in the United Kingdom, which people from the United Kingdom can let me know what's going on down in the comments below so that way we can fix and do some things that are kind of accurate but if you guys don't know democracy 3 it's a political policy simulator kind of you running as either the prime minister or president of said country that you're playing as of course for us we're playing as the prime minister of the united kingdom so this is really really exciting i got a few mods on like the syrian refugee crisis and some fiscal policies that give us like ghettos and street gangs and civil rights protests and you know alcohol abuse is always here uh dementia which is another one i think that's in there we have air pollution which i believe was already there the rust belt sexism so we got a lot of things here and it looks like we got what what is this homosexuality law so this is really really exciting now i don't think there's a thing here that lets us get out of the EU. It's a continental union. So, and it, mm, kind of. Number one, we're going to want to turn on our nuclear program. We want the United Kingdom to be a great place of nuclear technology. We need to build up against our adversaries. But of course, we have independent head of state. So, of course, we are a, um, you know, democracy, but we do have the queen. So that is a thing. And then we have a national palace and things like that. So we want to fix a lot of the issues. Now we are playing as the conservative party because of course they are the overwhelming party that's won and that is leading the nation at the moment. That's why we are playing as them. So we need, I'm guessing, to make conservatives pretty happy so that we, they would vote for us again. But also kind of keep liberals on the same side as, you know, staying with us. Um, few things being military spending in the refugee crisis we gotta fix this now the refugee crisis pretty big pretty big now we could do some things um, not in here but this is some of the things that I've already done in achievements but in here there's a few things intervention favoring the rebels favoring the government which I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in favor of the rebels which, you know just to say they're gonna fight their tyrant now here we can help the refugees, which is going to be pretty good for 91% of the voter population. So we'll have to see just what we have to do. Um, we can welcome Syrian refugees in. We can build a fence to stop them from coming into the country. So we're going to want to figure this stuff out. Welfare and other things needs to be fixed. Economics. All this needs to be fixed. But the first thing, always what I do as whoever I'm playing as. I've never played as the UK before, so this is going to be fun. I check out my people. So we're going to clear cabinet. Number one, clear cabinet. Yes, yes, talk all your shit. Come on. But foreign affairs minister. Let's see. So you want to be foreign policy conservative and a patriot. You're going to be pretty decent for us. Pretty decent. Okay, number one. I want to get that talking out of there because that's just, that's just annoying. So we're going to hire all our people. So you're a conservative and a patriot. Hmm. And you're one foreign policy, which is what you were looking for. But we got to see. Is there anybody bit good for transport before we go? Self-employed and religious, not too bad. Not terrible, but you are third on transport list. Uh. Tax transport. Religious and capitalist, that's not bad. We can use that. We can definitely work with it. Environmentalist and a liberal. Um, liberals probably won't be too happy with us by the end of the day. So we're going to use you as our foreign policy minister, just because you're pretty decent. Conservative and a patriot, we're probably gonna get decent stuff out of you. Welfare, now I saw a few for the welfare. Farmers and environmentalists, not too bad. Um, ethnic minorities and conservatives. That's gonna be kind of a half and half. It depends on how ethnic minorities kind of 
welcome us with all these street gangs and riots and things like that and civil rights protests. It's going to be a little bit before we can get it. Now, pay, parents and patriots, I can get behind you. We could definitely make both, both of those voter groups happy. But let's make sure. We already have a decent transport minister somewhere around here, I know. Just going to be looking. I think I'm going to pick you. I think you're good for us. So we're going to do that. We're going to hire you. Economic economy. We're going to find a good one for you, hopefully. Religious and capitalist, you are a good one. We need to figure out if we got a good tax uh, personnel. Conservatives and farmers, yes, we do got a good tax one. Mm -mm -mm. That's going to be fantastic. So just making sure this is economy. Retired and motorists, not too terrible. Liberal and parents, because you're liberal. It's going to be very difficult to try to sway the odds. So religious and capitalist. Looks like you're going to get hired, bud. I think you're going to be pretty good. Tax. Now, I did see we had a decent tax minister. Uh, conservative farmers, of course. Public service. We need to see if we have a good public service. Liberal and capitalist, not terrible, but they are going to be kind of a half and half. Uh, liberal and parents. Uh, socialist trading is no. Like, they will definitely, definitely hate us at the end of the day. Public service, you're second in public service, self-employed and religious, so that's not going to be too terrible. I actually do like that. There we go. Public service, second on the list, religious and conservative. That's actually pretty good. Do we have a decent law and order minister, though? That's going to be something I need to know. Law and order. Where are you? Conservative farmer, but you're going to be our tax one, so can't really do that. Law and order, liberal, ethnic minorities, that's going to be a little tough. Uh, law and order. Motor is liberal. If we have to, we'll do it. One of these is going to be really difficult to figure out. I mean, it's just always one of these is going to be really hard. Self-employed and religious. So if we pick you as public service and pick you as law and order, we might actually get out pretty decently here. Trading your socialist. Yeah, that's not going to be good. So we're going to pick you as the tax because, yes, we're going to be very good as tax minister. Public service. I think we're going to choose you as public service just because of the fact that you're self-employed and religious and we might actually be able to win over both of those voter groups pretty quickly. But you want to be public service. Law and order, of course, was going to be... Uh, where are you? Where did you go? There you are. I think that's you. Correct, Amundo? I think so. So we're going to hire you. That's going to be fantastic. Transport is the last one we got left. And we only got a few for it. Religious capitalists. We can actually work with you really well. Um, but we're going to look just for, you know, any others that might have a shot. But you look like you're going to be the one. So, fantastic. I really enjoy you. So we got our cabinet fixed up and ready to go. Hopefully we'll keep our capital pretty well. Now we still have 15 points. So we can fix a few things. Now we got to look at some of our issues. Civil rights protests kind of bouncing around. You know, we could actually fix this. Kind of depends. Unemployment's a huge problem for that. If So if we fix the unemployment, we may actually be able to destroy civil rights protests, which would be nice. Now, refugee crisis is going to be huge and it's going to be very difficult to fix. Uh, homosexual or sexism is going to be uh, kind of difficult to fix. We're going to have to give women a lot more rights, I think, in order to fix that out at the end of the day. Road accidents, not that hard to fix. I mean, car usage, traffic congestion, alcohol consumption is going to be a fucking big one. This one is going to be difficult, but we can fix that at the end of the day decently. Now, the Rust Belt, unemployment's a big cause of that. So, really right now, unemployment's really tough. Now, we are conservative, so we need to check and see. We have a surplus right now, so that's actually pretty good, having a surplus to start. I would love to spend a little bit. Now, we're going to go a little bit in the hole, but I want overwhelming force to spend because that will fix, uh, that will get our military strength way up and it will destroy a lot in unemployment, which would be very, very good for us. We're, so we're going to do that. We're going to be a little bit in the debt, in the daddy daddy. Now, we can't raise any tax right now, so we're basically going to have to just next the turn and hope nothing really bad happens. So let us go to the next turn, shall we? Let's check and see how things are going. Crime rising a little bit. That kind of sucks. Unemployment's going down, though. That's what we want. Poverty, though, on the rise. We have to watch out. 20% of the people actually want to vote for me, though. So we have a royal scandal. There's an urgent policy question that requires immediate attention. A prominent member of the royal family has unfortunately made a comment 
that could be considered racist if taken out of context. The comment was overheard by press photographers and is causing a scandal. How will your government react? Support the monarch? Nobody expects the government of the day to openly criticize the monarch. It would likely lead to a major constitutional difficulties and would be considered deeply unpatriotic. We should issue a statement to the effect that the phrase was taken out of context, was off the record, and clearly does not represent the views of the royal family. Okay, or criticize the monarch. How can we possibly stand by and let this happen without comment? Nobody expects our government to call for the royal families. Okay. But at, le at the very least, a strongly worded statement to the effect that such comments are unhelpful and are out of step with the times would be appropriate. I think at the end of the day, the government and the royal family kind of should be linked and should very much take care of each other. Because at the end of the day, if you don't support your monarch, what the heck are you doing? I don't think that what he said might, you know, was racist at all. You know, just saying. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with the side of the monarch, just because we're fine. GDP is kind of in the can, but I think overall, if we get down on unemployment and destroy a little bit in crime, we might actually do pretty good with this. So let's look at a few th other things we got. Alcohol consumption, really, really bad, really bad. Alcohol abuse, overwhelming high. Unemployment, pretty good for that. Community policing, though, we actually have that, and I think that's boosting our liberalism. Um, it's that liberals are actually 72% of the majority, so we actually have to keep them relatively happy with me. Conservatives, only 27% of the voter group, so it's it's fairly difficult for us. Now, we still have a surplus even though we're doing overwhelming force, but of course that's going to have to, it's going to go over for a few turns. So we have to look at a few other things that we have to do. Um, we got street gangs, which is a huge issue, but it's it's tanking, which is really good. I don't know why it's tanking. Unemployment's a really big problem with that. So again, if we destroy unemployment, we're actually going to do decent. Like, within almost all voter groups. So I actually feel pretty good about this. Um, the Rust Belt. What's going on here? That's, that's going to be gone next turn, which is fantastic. It's going to be great. Anything else going to be gone? Tooth decay. We're going to have to figure that out later. Dementia on the rise. We're going to have to figure that out. Obesity. Probably never going to be able to fix that problem. And asthma epidemic. Probably not going to be able to fix that either, to be honest. Ghettos. Again, street gangs is a really big one. If we take out street gangs, we take out ghettos. Which is going to be fantastic for us. Now, foreign subversion. Crime. Foreign relations. Immigration. Tourism. Intelligence services. Okay. So it's kind of a little bit on the rise and fall. Road accidents, kind of need to get away from alcohol consumption to really do that. We could bump a little bit on our police force. I mean, that takes down a good bit of unemployment too. But I want to find good jobs to get people off their feet and kind of destroy unemployment kind of from the inside out because that'd be great for us. So basic income? Hmm. Okay. So is that basically like minimum wage? I'm guessing for like us Americans, we call it minimum wage. I'm guessing the rest of us do, but again, I don't know. I've never been in other places. We also have some work visas and things for migration, so that's actually really fun. That's really going to be cool to see how that pans out at the end of the day. Taxes, going to be pretty big. Pretty big. We're going to need to do a lot with taxes. Now, I'm guessing this is going to like destroy sexism pretty good. Earn income tax credits and you know high brackets so that's gonna be fun for us too free eye tests and free school meals really helps out with the poor so this is what I kinda wanna in implement to start because it's really gonna help us out it's gonna increase a little bit to, uh, with parents gonna decrease in poverty which is gonna be very very good so we basically wanna pay as much as we can it'll take down a good decent bit of obesity and it just gets a super good strike to health so that's going to be fantastic. Now, we're going to be a little bit of a deficit, but at the end of the day, it's not the worst thing in the world. Now, we still have 24. The One of the best things to do right now is to raise the petrol tax because you'll actually take down a lot of car usage without actually making them angry. 
but the first thing I kind of want to do is raise the alcohol tax because alcohol consumption is a really big problem. That's what leads to alcohol abuse. So you want probably about a good 37% tax. Now, poverty, surprisingly enough, is going to rise a fuck ton because of that. So maybe we'll rise it maybe about 30%. It's going to kind of like move a little bit. We boost it a little bit in poverty by helping out with free school meals, but we're going to tax them a little bit in alcohol. Yeah, and they're going to be pissy, but at the end of the day, the poor is not going to be too terrible with us. Um, I'm guessing, yeah, they're only 23% of the population when it comes to voting. So we'll be all right at the end of the day. What else? We have 15 more left. I kind of want to use as much as possible. Race Discrimination Act, really good for us. It takes down a lot of racial tension. Liberals like it. Ethnic minorities really like that. Liberalism goes way up because of that. Now, I actually want to try to get conservatives to like me and to grow. But the thing is, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to do that. Now, we do have minimum wage. It's about 11 bucks an hour, so that's not bad. So we'll have to see, uh, number one, if that's accurate. If it's not, we can take that down or up. It kind of depends. I want to get this as accurate as possible. So street gangs tanking real bad, so that's good. That's real good. Now, I want to spend a little bit into our police force just because of the fact that it takes down a little bit of unemployment. I mean, it just does. It's pretty good, and we can raise it. State employees are going to really love us, which is going to be good. So we will do that, get our police force a little bit higher. Community policing really going to help us out. Alcohol abuse takes a really big hit with that. And we're going to basically raise that to the max. It'll take out alcohol abuse. Liberalism will rise, but it's going to take down all key issues that we need. And unemployment will go down a little bit because of that. So we have about 11 left, and I kind of still want to do some things. Capitalists love the Civil Service Commission. Racial tension actually goes down, and so does sexism. And state employees kind of fucking hate it, though. So we'll actually leave it, but we kind of did raise a little bit, so we could do it. Now, handgun laws is kind of a thing that, you know, you need a license to have a handgun. That actually makes sense. Liberalism actually goes down a decent bit. So if we do, you know, total ban, liberalism goes down but parents go way the fuck up but it's a ban on guns if we go up with it liberalism actually goes a little bit negative weirdly enough it's still it goes from negative 2.28 to zero so liberalism won't grow won't decrease anymore and our military strength plus private security will weigh up violent crime will rise though really rise and but patriots will really like it so we're not actually going to do anything with it yet we're not going to touch it we're actually just going to kind of leave it be and keep our points while we have them um, we're going to do a, some things with the refugee crisis here very soon kind of just depends on what we can do so we're going to next the turn and see how we're doing so civil rights protests now at an end general strike though is here and the rust belt is now gone so the gdp is in the fucking can but poverty's going down 39 percent of the people are now going to want to vote for us no ethnic district tour cool a racial conflict intensifies in your country minority and liberal voters invites the leader to the ethnic districts this would bring down racial tension, however, these visits would increase the risk of assassination and put pressure on the police. It'll put pressure on the police, which I, I'm a very big police person. I'm very conservative when it comes to police. I do really enjoy what the police do. And yes, we do have police problems with um, just they think they're overpowered, but it's fine. I think we're going to tour this ethnic district. I think it's going to be the best thing for us. So we're going to do that. So sweet deal. Conservatives going way down. All right. All right. Stop cheering my name. Jeez. Poor. Really loving us. Weirdly enough. Conservatives kind of hating us. And it's because of the general strike now. So that just popped up. Where are you? What is pissing you off so bad? Poor earnings is a really big cause of general strike. Okay, so this is tanking our GDP to shit, and we need to fix this immediately. Basically, as quickly as possible. Poverty is another big thing. So poor earnings, um, if we can increase poor earnings, I think that helps out a little bit in that general strike. So we need to kind of help out the poor is basically what they're saying public service so free eye tests would be something for the poor um, that would really help out 
what else could really help out the poor smoking law that'd be actually decent because I'm just not a really big dude on smoking just because of the fact that it could fuck your lungs up and it's really you know I don't know just to me it's like you have the right to do it and I'm glad if you do do it but ugh. I don't know I just I just can't do it but we're gonna help out the poor a little bit capitalists are gonna hate this wealthy are gonna hate this but socialists are gonna like it poverty will go down poor earnings will rise so we're basically gonna do this as high as possible granted yes health will go up poverty will go down the wealthy will be pissed but at the end of the day they can live we just gotta fix now we have a pretty decent deficit we can't raise the income tax, which is the best way to make money. We can raise the corporate tax, though, which kind of sucks. Innovation will probably go way the fuck down, which will suck really bad. Now, we could do a tobacco tax, which is pretty decent. Tobacco usage will go down. The poor, though, will hate it, and poverty will rise. And I don't want to counteract what I just did. I want to kind of wait for the petrol tax. I think that's going to be the best thing for us. So... I kind of want to keep as much as possible for the next run, but we, I know I can do something else and get away with it. Okay, we're doing pretty good. Police force taking down some of that. Street gangs kind of leveling itself out, but it's good that we got some things out of the way. Ghettos, again, kind of leveling itself out. We got the Rust Belt out of the way, though, which is pretty good. Sexism, though, kind of on the, you know, decrease. So that's good. It's falling apart, so that's actually really good. Homelessness, really falling apart, so that's actually going to be really good for us, too. We're just going to next the turn. We're not going to do too much with this. We're going to figure it out. Unemployment is rising. Crime is rising. Health, though, is rising. And 38% of the people will actually figure out. So a highway, ugh, collapse. That's not going to be good. And our credit rating has been downgraded, which kind of sucks. We have a deficit of $70 billion now, so we've got to fix that real fucking quick, real quick. Um... So biggest thing is either going to be to boost up the income tax, which is going to hurt middle income, which already they are getting fucking smacked really bad. So this is going to be a little bit. Now, General Strike is going to probably tank here in the next time, so I don't really need to worry too much about it, but I want to raise as much as possible. It's going to take down motors. are going to be kind of pissy, so we're going to do a 40, 40%, 36, though, so that's going to kind of suck. Commuters, a little bit pissy just because of the highway collapsing and some road accidents. And now with the petrol tax, they're really not going to be that happy with us. Motorists fucking hate us basically right now. And I think one of our people actually is a motorist person, correct? No, we're good. So we don't actually have to worry about that. That's actually, that's actually really, really good. Okay, so this is the basically the only thing that we could have done for that. Now we run... Is it four years or five years in Parliament? I'm not exactly sure. I didn't read it before going in. We'll figure it out. We'll go a couple more turns in. Do we need knife control? Hmm. Many people in our nation carry knives. A variety of reasons. Knives are also often used in lethal violence, especially by gangs. Our National Police Board suggests that we prohibit unwarranted carrying of blades in public areas. Most countryside dwellers and trade unionists want to keep their right to bear a blade, though. We're gonna ban it. I agree, but we have shrieking still running around and all that. That's kind of terrifying. We're gonna ban it. So, it's happening. Sorry, not sorry, but we're gonna try to take care of these shriekings indirectly, if we can. And they are kind of on the downtick, so that's good. So what else is going on? Parents relatively happy with us. We got about 38% of the vote. Uh, we got still a 60% deficit, so it kind of sucks. So we're going to want to end that income tax. There's a little bit 51% income tax. That's going to suck dick, but we're going to have to do it. Sales tax we could have done, but we'll probably do that here very soon. We could not raise anything else. We got eight points left, so I don't think we can basically do much. Narcotics. Narcotics would be very good. Outlawed. Okay, so we kind of don't want to make liberals happy at the moment. And we don't want to legalize all drugs. So we will figure that out as soon as possible what to do with that. But we're going to go another turn in because we can. What's going on now? The black market. Ooh, cool. Gen general strike, though, at an end. That's actually really good. And we got a few 
points into the poll for that, so that's actually good. Crime is on the high, though, but street gangs are going to fall apart, hopefully, in the next turn. I'm guessing that'll leave ghettos to fall apart next, which is going to be great. So we're working on crime issues, really, first. So that's good. And then alcohol abuse kind of tanked, and then it's now slowly rising back up, which kind of sucks. I thought we were taking care of that with the alcohol tax. Now, we have the black market now, which is not okay. Um... It's not the worst, actually, situation, though. It's just going to boost a little bit in crime and take a little bit down in poverty, but not actually doing terrible. So we're going to have to figure that out. Probably that we're going to put that on the back burner, so we're not going to worry about it just yet. We still have a deficit of $37 billion, so we're going to need to figure that out. Now, we have the sales tax, the income tax. I don't want to boost any more in the income tax. That's fucking terrifying. I mean, it's not, it's not good. So what we want to do is basically... Kind of raises to like a 35%. Equality is going to go pretty down. Poor earnings. I mean, self-employed. Capitalists. They're not going to really like it. Poverty will rise a fuck ton because of this. So I don't want to rise it too much. Probably about 28%. We're going to have to figure out things that we cannot spend that much on. Corporate tax would probably be the next one to boost. Because I'm guessing like, yeah, we can get to like 29. But innovation is going to get shit on if we do that. And that's not going to be good for us. Our GDP is going to go into the can if we do that. So that's going to suck a lot now we could drop a little bit in military spending and things like that but i gotta make sure that these street gangs and everything are gone before then so we're gonna next our turn we've done a lot with taxes and things for a couple turns so that's not okay tax evasion ah oh, fuck that's not good tech firm closure fuck that's not good shit poverty's going down though so we're actually kind of fixing it crime's going down um but surprisingly enough street gangs stay they stay here. They're almost there. They're almost there. But they're staying just a little bit. And it kind of makes me mad. Kind of makes me real mad. So this kind of takes down. I don't want to spend more in the armor. I mean, we have a deficit already. I don't want to spend more. Mm. We're going to have to just to destroy the street gangs. Just widespread. Boost it up a little bit. And then what we can do, I guess, because of that is take down a good bit in spending. So we'll have just barely well trained. Just barely. Military strength is going to go down a fuck ton. And unemployment is going to take a big ass shrink. But it's going to... it's gonna Ah, oh, fuck, we can't do that. Damn it. <clears throat> what can we do now? I got to figure out things to do because people are doing tax evasion now, which really isn't good for us. Playing as Britain's pretty hard, but I like it. I really enjoy it. Um, we could raise the minimum wage, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to work too well for money. Could bust up the inheritance tax at some point, but I don't want to do that. At least not right now. Free school meals probably. What's costing us the most? Expenditure. What's costing us the most? Military spending, of course. State pensions. Close second. So what can we do with you? Can't lower you just yet, and that's going to really hurt the retired. But, at the end of the day, that's not the worst thing in the world. Poor, though. Poverty really takes down on poverty, which is actually really good. Hmm. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, what's third? State health care. Okay, so we're going to have to look at our expenditures next turn. So we're going to next one more time figure out what we're going to have to do. Credit rating is downgraded again, which kind of sucks. Uh, we got 46% of the vote, though. Not bad. Not not bad. We're actually not doing too terrible. Fifty-six billion dollar deficit though. We're about into a trillion dollars in debt now, which kinda sucks. Yes, streaking's gonna be gone next turn. Mmm, that's what we need. That's what we need. Okay. Let's figure out what's next then. I don't know. We're gonna need to downtick uh military spending. I'm just we're just gonna have to. We can't spend. I mean we're not actually spending too much, but we're gonna need to get Probably like, eh, like that. Probably about 27. That sounds pretty decent. State pensions. We can't lower you. I was going to say we probably can't lower you. But we have 17. We don't want to spend a lot right now. Because we just got our debt up to a trillion dollars. We're going to need to calm down. So we're going to next that turn just to get these street gangs out of the way. Fuck yeah. Infant boy circumcision. Some religious communities traditionally circumcise infant boys. Arguing that operation is a vital part of the religious identity 
and then it makes patients more resistant against infections. Liberals oppose the practice and request an age limit. We're going to allow it just because we are kind of a conservative leader and we have mostly conservative people. These are going to really help conservatives and the religious, so that's actually going to be fairly decent for us. Yes, street gangs is now at an end. Deficit, though. What the hell? Oh, it's just because we're still doing that. Got it. Makes some sense. Makes some sense. So what else are we spending a fuck ton of money on? State health care. Poor, though. This really helps the poor. And, I mean, granted, the poor ain't that much of a population boost, but we... It's 20... You know, 20-something percent. I don't want to fuck them up, but we're going to have to... We're just going to have to downgrade a little bit, guys. I mean, you're going to have to get, like, like that much. We're going to have to cut you down. A decent bit. I mean, we're going to have to save money this time. Sorry, not sorry, but it's going to have to happen. Capitalists, though, on the rise. Got a lot of things that down tick them, so that kind of sucks. We actually played about halfway through this. Surprisingly enough, we're trucking. So I think this is going to be the next last thing. So message from our minister when your minister needs to talk to you. Urgent memory. Something in private. Are you pissy? Religious people, it's because we're pissing off capitalists, but that makes sense. Unemployment, man. God. Man, I hate dealing with the unemployment. Jeez. Yeah, I was going to say, you're still down ticking, but we still got a lot of money that is really fucking us up. State pensions, though, is the next thing we're spending the most on. I'm just trying to take care of this deficit, but we can't. This is really fucking up poverty, the black market. So we're going to need to actually fix that pretty swiftly. And tax evasion is really fucking up the local government. So we're going to have to fix that too. So we got a few problems. Air pollution though, kind of going down. So that's actually good. But we got a few problems. But we have about 50% of the vote. So we might actually be able to make it to our next term. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode of the United Kingdom here in Democracy 3. If you guys did... Please give me a like down below. Tells me you want me to continue this beautiful series. If you have any other countries you want me to play, like the United States, do you want us to go back to that beautiful United States where we have about $4 trillion worth of debt um, when I opened it and a hell of a lot of problems. So if you want me to play as the United States, please do let me know. And basically, comment down below if you're from the UK, what things should we do to make it more realistic slash have I been doing everything fucking dumb? Which, I mean, I could. I could be. I haven't played Do Democracy 3 in actually so long, so if I am doing something stupid, it's most likely true. Um, and then subscribe to see more. We're going to be playing Democracy 3, Hearts of Iron 4, 901 Operator. Um, I'm currently in the works of a new game that hopefully I'll be able to record soon enough. It, that I'm talking to the developer on it now to see if I can get early access to it to show you guys. But, working on that, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, because if it doesn't work out, I don't want you to get all excited about it and like I can't play it um, also I'm thinking about getting Urban Empire and Civ 6 um, to play with Greg rated GT so that way we can play some good old Civ 6 together and I want to play Urban Empire because it's politics and it's city builder so rad dude I'm gonna try to figure that out hopefully you guys enjoyed it though and I will see you in the next episode until then Glenn Games signing off as always take Care, everyone.